So today we're going to be having a look at the brand new Innovate Trail Talon, which gets released in a few days time. So I've been lucky enough to be sent a pair of these uh, by Innovate so I could try them out before release and let you guys know what I think of them. So how it's going to go is I've got these, I'm going to tell you what I think, some of the stats. Also, I'm going to explain why you might want to get this if you've already got a trail fly. Does, how does this complement this? I'll go over that as the video goes on. Start off with, I'll give you just a few quick stats. Uh, so it's got a six mil drop. Uh, it's got six mil multi-directional lugs just on the back there. Uh, graphene infused rubber they are using on the outsole. Uh, the weight of these in what I've got here is a UK 10 and a half that comes in at 324 grams. That is including bits of mud on there because I've been out and about. I've done over 60k in these. I've ran on the hard pack um, trails. I've run on hilly, muddy stuff with loose rock and just really giving them a good test. So we'll start off the video with uh, my initial run where I'm going to give you some instant feedback while I'm out on the trail. And then we'll go over some more of the stats. So this is the first run in the Trail Talons and first impressions, first thing I've said about them is going to be cushioned, really nice fit, broad forefoot, uh, plenty of ground contact and yeah, nice! So that's me coming to the end of my first run in the Trail Talons. So when I said earlier, first impression is just a few words, cushioned. I need to elaborate on that. It's cushioned all round, not just under the foot, but all the way wrapping around your foot, including the tongue. It just feels really plush, really nice. It's just like, I don't know, trying to describe it as a car, just the most comfortable car you could be driving in. Just glides over things and your feet are protected. So as I touched on just there in the video, the very first thing I thought when running in these was the comfort. Comfort, uh, the plushness, um, the cushioning as well. For examples, so like there, the heel counter here has extra padding around it. Uh, just keeps your heel in place and it just, it's nice and soft. It's not going to be restrictive at all. Sometimes on some shoes I find, I think my ankle bone is in a weird place, some shoes uh, this bit here can be quite annoying. This is soft, it's comfortable. No issue at all for my ankle bone. Um, the, the tongue, for example, it's thick, it's cushioned. It's gusted as well. It's, the, the whole shoe is just slightly more beefed up than on the trail fly. The trail fly here, as you can see, if I put them both on top of each other, uh, the overlays just here, which help grip your midfoot down in place when you lace it up. Slightly more aggressive than on here. This black bit here, again when you lace it up, this just helps hold your heel in place a bit more so. Or oh, no, that, that, that does it absolutely perfectly as well. But I'm just pointing out some of the differences. This is slightly more aggressive, a bit more beefed up. Um, it's as if, this is exactly what this shoe is. It's this shoe, which is the trail fly, and this shoe, which is the new rock light uh, that's in the Gore-Tex. They got together, they got jiggy together, and they've had a baby to come up with this. Why do I say that? Because it's very similar in lots of ways to this shoe, the, the trail fly, uh, but the sole is different. The sole on the trail fly is four mil lugs, which is absolutely fine for hard pack um, runs, but sometimes you're out and about, you wanna be, you wanna have a bit more grip a bit more of an aggressive tread. On the Rockolite, it's got six mil lugs. That has got the same lug pattern and depth as the Trail Talon. So yeah, these two had a few beers one night, got together, and next morning, this appeared. So here's uh, some more footage of some different kind of terrain that I've been running on. This particular run, much more up and down, hard pack trails, looser stone and definitely into some sloppy muddy stuff. This particular section here, that's actually pretty steep. 
So that's steep and wet and very slippy, but as you can see, I'm getting up there okay. I didn't actually uh, slip too much at all. So the grip uh, going up here was excellent, I'd say. And then running up through the, uh, the tree line, this is actually a really technical downhill mountain bike trail that I, I ran up. So good mixed bag of conditions. Again, this is steeper than it actually looks. Uh, the shoes performing really well, really nice. In sections where I wanted to run faster, the shoe itself wanted to run faster with me as well. Right, let's just uh, touch on the things I've not mentioned. In no particular order. Okay, so size-wise, I'd say it's true to size. So if you're one size normally, that should be absolutely fine for you. Uh, it's got the wide anatomical foot shape, which just allows your feet to spread out. So that's really nice. Engineered mesh upper uh, with breathable zones on it, just at the top here. Uh, boomerang insole, as it is with most of the uh, innovate shoes of late. Uh, laces, they stay tied. Long laces, uh, but they do stay tied. They haven't come undone on me at all. I've not needed to do a double knot with them. So they're secure, protected, cushioned, but they, they, they're not like the old, I don't know if you guys remember, the old Trailfly Ultra G300, which was a bit of a heavy shoe. This was super protected, but it didn't run light. It ran a bit heavy, didn't feel the most responsive shoe. This one runs much lighter. It feels much lighter. Uh, it's much more engaging when you're running with it. Uh, if you do actually think 324 grams for UK 10 half, that's still on the heavy side. There is a speed version which will be coming at a future date, but I think that's a wee while off yet. Uh, but if you do go lighter, you will miss out on some of the, the features like any extra protection. Um, I, I'm, I'm guessing here, but if, if they're going to make it a speedier version, they're going to make it lighter. And if it's lighter, it's going to lose out on some things. This is, I would say, an ideal shoe for running an Ultra. No bother at all. I've got a 50k in a couple of days time. I would run in this, um, but the, the ground and the, the terrain that the 50k is, it's hard packed, it's non-technical, so I'm going to be running it in my trail fly, which would be the perfect shoe for the, the run in a few days. If it was a bit more technical and I needed the extra traction, the extra grip from a deeper lugged sole, I wouldn't hesitate running in these. This would be a perfect shoe for running long distances in. So you can help the, the channel out uh, by subscribing to the channel, uh, leaving a like to uh, videos. You can even join the channel from as little as $2.99 a month, which really does help uh, with costs of making these videos and the time it takes. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed and extra special thanks to the members who have actually joined the channel. So thanks again for watching. Hope you got something out of this um, video on the Innovate Trail Talon. If you got any questions at all, feel free, leave them just down below. But little, just as a nutshell at the end, is this a good shoe? This is an awesome shoe. Between this shoe and the trail fly. I'd say you've got just about every base covered for running on trails. Great combinations. Um, if you've got both of these hard pack runs, you've got covered uh, hard pack with multi kind of surfaces going into steeper, sloppier, muddier stuff. You've got it covered with this one as well. Great choices uh, from anybody um, from this year. Really enjoying running in the new range of shoes. Thanks again. Bye now.